greetings from the Word Bible software. In this video, we will be overviewing the two modules, Net module and the Net 2 module. These are both Bible modules. We're going to be looking into them and seeing where you can purchase them and some of the differences, some of the uh, perhaps upgrades, if you would put it that way, um, to the Net 2 and we will look at it briefly in the Word Bible software. So let's go ahead and go into first off the wordbooks.com and on the wordbooks.com you'll start off here at the Net Bible. The Net Bible, the full notes edition and note um, this is something you can look for to purchase under the shop and then to Bibles and in there you will find English Bibles and you can get into it. So you have, it talks about how many translators notes and various things like that. You can get into some description and things like that. Going over to the Net 2, you will see that it has some changes from the Net 1. One of the one changes that is that the Net 2 does not have the commentary notes as in a separate commentary. They are still there, but as in the footnotes now. For some, this is a different change in and how things feed function. You, if you want, you're welcome to stick with your Net One Bible and its commentary notes, or or do something like that. But note, Net Two has been dramatically upgraded with the addition of strong numbers. So now it links the English words link into different dictionaries that are Strong's enabled. So if you get in here. We're going to also let add a few other differences under the Net Bible differences. There's a there's a note down here. If you go to the very bottom of the Net Two, what are the differences between the first edition and the second edition? And it'll open up some of those dish differences. So both Old Testament, and New Testament the updated Strong's tags using phrase tagging as well as multiple number tagging. You can get into the divine names in the Old Testament have been made more consistent. Going in, you have some other things. That it talks about they did delete 3,300 footnotes which were deemed unnecessary and superfluous such as de has not been translated or kai has not been translated due to differences in Greek and English style so these are just some things you can get into some things like that let's go into the word Bible software now in the first version of the net Bible for the word Bible software the footnotes were placed into a commentary style Look, which is, is beneficial in many ways, and, and I won't deny that. Um, that's something you can check out and, and use if that benefits you. If you perhaps want to search the notes, then, then maybe perhaps buy the Net One version and, and use that and go ahead and search those notes. You can look at them here and, and various things like that. Also, just like in the Net Two, we'll see some of that. So you can go down through this commentary and see what the net notes are but please do understand that in the net 2 which we see here in the leftmost column is also has the footnotes and they go in and sometimes maybe you really don't want to do that you need to copy some footnotes so you hold shift down and you go into it and you drag over and you right click and you call copy selection and you can go do that but maybe that's taking too much time for you and you have some things you want to get into so you go to your Bible view you go to your footnotes and cross references and change it to in line with the text if you prefer and then it's right in the text or you can adjust it to after each verse and now we go down here and you still have the numbers which point down to the footnotes and now you can copy them out or if you prefer there is the after at the end of the chapter so maybe you want to be able to read through but you want to jump down let's say you see 17 and so you jump down to 17 in your footnotes and you can see what it says so those are some different ways that you can go ahead and view the footnotes now as we spoke before there is a very big difference between the net one and the net two and that is you go over and make sure your strongs are turned on. Go to here, show the strongs, got that right there, apply, apply, and let's make sure we have a strongs dictionary open. And now, let's see, it doesn't look like I have something quite turned on here. Uh, let's go back into Bible view, some strongs. Let's just, let's go ahead and 
and show the strokes for now so we can look at them a little bit more. Okay, so you can go, this is what we proclaim to you, what was from the beginning. And, and as for those that have used strongs in the past, you can get into that and it says Arke, and you can look into that. We have also the various things, prepositions, etc. And But now, a note is the Net Bible, the first of edition, did not have those Strong's numbers available. So this has been a big, big upgrade. And also note, those Strong's name numbers were added in the Old Testament. So this is a huge upgrade in that way. Yes, there's some trade-offs with the commentary and things, but these are things that maybe maybe have both versions side by side. And if you note that when you go ahead and install it, it installs the file net.ontx, and and maybe you would say, oh well, one over installs over the other. We'll change that that file if you have the net one installed first. Change it to net one.ontx, and then when you add net two, it'll just be there alongside of it. So that way you can have both versions and use this powerful tool. Now, I, these are some excellent resources as you look into the Word Bible software. Net one and net two are both excellent resources for the Word Bible software. I hope this is helpful as you consider looking into these modules.